don't say nothing to me. Period. <laughs> and people say I'm not talented. The tour link in bio. Hi guys, it's Santa Mojo. Welcome to my mediocre get ready with me or welcome back to my mediocre get ready with me. I'm gonna be like really, really real with you right now. Uh, I've been seeing every bitch on YouTube do like a two hour transformation video. Transforming myself from like this to this and like one side of the thumbnail is her looking like fucking Shrek and then the other side is her looking like fucking Lauren Beach on crack. Crazy, crazy transformations and I low key feel like I invented that. Wait, that's literally just me being a narcissist. <laughs> I'm like buying narcissist studies now. I'm getting rid of them. I've been transforming myself from like a one to like a passable six on YouTube since I started YouTube. And now that it's a trend, I'm absolutely gonna hop onto it. And if I can like do like a holiday, but like a holiday, that was stupid, version of that, I'm gonna do it and try to get views. Welcome, hi. So yeah, Jordan's up my asshole to make this video and it's like three in the morning and I have to do it or he's gonna drop me and go manage better people. So here we are. <laughs> I'm being way too brutally honest in this intro, but that's just that's just where we're at. So I look like this. I would like to look at least four to five numbers higher. So that's what we're gonna do today. Step one of this transformation is tell your boyfriend who's playing Fortnite and wants nothing to do with you that he has a giant cock. I think you look good no matter what. You look like a 10 right now. You're lying. You that's have a giant cock though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so eventually I'm gonna sit down with a ring light and like really hoe it out But right now I'm headed downstairs to be a little bit hygienic and make myself significantly Tanner and I forgot to mention this, but I'm literally transforming myself into like a holiday party ass holiday glam ass Hi, I'm like a passable eight ass bitch for no reason like the second I'm done filming I'm literally just gonna wipe it off and like get fucked and go to bed <laughs> I am solely doing this because Jordan is up my ass to do it. So if you're watching this, literally fuck you, Jordan Ramona. Also because I can't stop putting this Facetune photo of me on absolutely everything, I think this is my new merch and I literally hate myself. <laughs> she said, running late. I swear to God, you could literally give me all of the money in the world and I would still make my tripods like this. <laughs> okay, wow, I look busted as fuck. <laughs> So for me, step one to all of this is washing and exfoliating everything on my body. And luckily, I just did that because I got dick. Am I talking about getting dick too much? I'm sorry. It's just kind of like my main focus in life right now. So very quickly on my body, I use Soap and Glory Flake Away Scrub. It's absolutely amazing. Hey, Soap and Glory, if you see me and you're not like spending all of your coin on Andrea Russet, if you could just like mail me some of these because I'm like really sick of buying them. Clean on me body wash, same shit. Favorite body wash in the world. It just literally smells like... Like actual heaven. Like if I make it to heaven, I'm like not hell because I suck. <laughs> it's gonna smell like this body wash. It's so good. And then I use this completely smooth shave gel just because it stops like any razor bumps. Everything's just like perfect and smooth and pussy good, pussy Why did I say pussy like that? Pussy good, pussy sweet? Question mark? Yeah, not sponsored, but like sponsor me. It's great. And then I use a men's razor instead of a women's razor. This shit is so gross. <laughs> I think men's razors get a closer shave and I obviously hate shaving because I hate doing anything hygienic or being a girl So anything that can make that like happen less now the next step for me is absolutely just like pivotal and that is using a spin brush I have super dry skin. I'm gonna like get up close like look, check out all my acne as you can see like right there and like right there Ooh, that's bad. That's rough <laughs> This is like the ugliest I've been on camera in so long. My skin is so dry, it will literally like flake away and fall off. That's literally why I have like wrinkles at 20. Like, thank you Botox, no I can't move my eyebrows. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like if I put makeup on top of that like flaky dry skin, it just looks worse. And Marc Jacobs Remarkable, the foundation I use is super drying. So for me, using a spin brush is so important. Duval actually just sent me a new one for Christmas. My other one is in the shower. And I don't even wanna show you the brush head from like scrubbing off my spray tans, but it is beat as fuck. Like me right now. <laughs> God, I look ugly. So yeah, I'm about to open this one and use a brand new one on camera. I've had a brand new one for fucking long. Me moving up to show you that I'm jacking off. Like, no wonder you're not monetized, what? And then on that spin brush, I'm gonna use Mix Easy Face Wash, which I also have been so obsessed with. They also just sent me new bottles for Christmas. But I just like broke one of them because I'm like such a good YouTuber. I'm like super careful with the things I like need to put in my videos. Again, it comes with all four brush heads. Face, sensitive, body, and pumice stone, puma stone, Roxy like a puma, puma shoes, I don't know how to say that word, I'm sorry. Unboxing ASMR, oh my god, get you a girl who can do it all. God, I'm such a sarcastic cunt tonight, like I don't want to be making this video right now. Like it's fucking three in the morning. I just wanna wash my face and like go to bed and like be a normal girl. 
So in my last video using this, everyone in the comments was like, you're using the body brush on your face and people were like fucking mad about it. Like really, really, really mad. So I'm gonna use the face one because people were mad about it, but I still like to use the giant one on my face just cause it's literally faster and I'm literally lazy and unhygienic. And like always, I was buying Duval like a year and a half ago and to be working with them now is fucking nuts. So for everybody that comments when I do this shit, like, oh, this is an ad. Like, okay, I've spent my real money on it and every time I breathe, it gets demonetized. How do you expect me to like make videos without working with brands sometimes? And that's just the fucking tea on that sister. Again, like I will never work with a brand that I don't fucking support and love and for it to be one that I have and would spend my own money on makes my dick hard. So yeah, um, you can use code Tana for 70% off. <laughs> also 70% off of something that's like normally expensive like why wouldn't I want to share that with you if I was going to use a spin brush anyway suck a dick 70% off it literally makes the best gift I got everyone in my life spin brushes for Christmas last year fun fact just because if you haven't been put on you need to be put on straight up and it just like feels so good <laughs> And then I like brush my teeth, but like honestly, if you're trying to transform your teeth, just like get veneers like I did. <laughs> then I'm gonna moisturize my face. So what I like to do before I put on makeup and self tanner is use a really good hyaluronic acid based moisturizer. This one's from Alginist. It's really, really pricey. And I'm not gonna lie, I like Clinique Moisture Surge just as much and it's a lot cheaper and they have a lot of the same ingredients. But I also really like this one if you're willing to splurge. It also smells so weirdly like an alcoholic beverage but i like like because I have a problem. I also focus it on places where I feel like I get wrinkles because I get wrinkles even though I'm 20. Um, so like right here because I have dry skin. So dry skin wrinkles a lot faster. And then I'm going to use Alginus Splash Moisturizing Spray like even on top of that just because again like I'm literally... I was going to say drier than grandma pussy. Why is that always what I go to say when I want to describe how dry my skin is? Like, um, a desert maybe? <laughs> okay, so now I am ashamed to be admitting this on the internet. Like, seriously. Well, I look like a cam girl. I'm like, <sighs> that was gross. Like, I'm seriously ashamed to even be admitting this on the internet. But pretty much whenever you see me out and I look tan, I'm only tanning the parts of my body that you're going to see like 70% of the time because I'm too lazy to do my whole body. <coughs> see, Jordan, I'm sick. I don't want to be filming. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm literally so ugly. So yeah, if you don't have to tan your whole body, why would you tan your whole body? I mean, I don't know if everyone thinks like that. I'm really just like the laziest person on this planet. And then like when I take off all my clothes, I look like nine different skin tones and it's super sexy. <laughs> so the next part of this video, I'm really sad about. This tanning company makes like my favorite self tanner on this planet. Other than the Isle Paradise self tanning water, this stuff is fucking amazing, but it literally takes like 10 hours to develop so you can only do it if you're doing it like the night before something. And it's by far the easiest to apply just because you literally like spray it on and just kind of like move the mid around. This isn't sponsored by the way. Again, Isle of Paradise. My email is in the description. Check it out. But when it comes to like transforming yourself in like two hours, that's not the one for that. So I'm using my second favorite self tan. And I just, I just like really love this company and I've been like supporting them from like the ground up. They reached out to me and they like pretended like they wanted to work with me. They like sent me some lovey tan and I've been, I've been like buying it for like months and months and months. And they just like finally mailed me a box and I like thought we were gonna work together. And then last minute they like pulled out of the deal and they were like, Tan is too vulgar, like we don't wanna work with her. And then they like did a brand deal with Ashley who I like live with so I had, like see her right in front of my face. And then like, I just did it with Bella, who I also live with, and like, I get to see her right in front of my face. And then I just like, saw them sponsor so many other vulgar YouTubers. And it's like, why not me? Like, I love you more than anyone. So I just keep having to like, spend my money on it, and I'm really sad that I'm even giving them free promo right now, because like, pay me. <laughs> but it's a great product, and I can't deny that, and I am always really honest with you guys. So I felt like using another product because I'm butt hurt would just be like a lie. But like Loving Tan, if you're watching this, it is never too late. Like I forgive you. Like I, I know we've been through a lot, but like I forgive you. And my email is in the bio. Like you already have it. You already my address. Like what? This is like legit the most pale I've ever been on camera on a side note. And it's like really weird for me and I'm not living for it. Let's start with my... That. <laughs> 
and this tanner is like super green so the product ends up being like not orange at all on your body look at me loving tan just promoting your shit for free i also use the two hour express again for transforming yourself so I'm also really bad at applying self tanner though, so I would take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt and like maybe go watch like Jacqueline Hill teach you how to self tan. <laughs> like, I also literally don't even do my back because I assume my hair is gonna be there. Like I'm such trash. Makeup by Samuel told me a while ago like your foundation will always apply your favorite way with a self tanner under it, and like that's what he would do on Kylie Jenner. So I mean like I'm not really gonna question it. I always have a weird tan line around my Cartier bracelets, but you know just. Like, it's like a problem that like most people wouldn't understand. So. <laughs> most people would take them off, but they unscrew. And again, I'm lazy, so I just kind of pretend like the tan line's real. And I'm like, yeah, I like got it when I was in like Costa Rica. This part of my body is like legit already lighter. And now what I'm about to do <laughs> is just this is so embarrassing. So now normally if I was wearing like biker shorts or like a regular dress and like sneakers or something, I would tan all of my legs because obviously they would be showing. But I also wear thigh highs a lot. <laughs> um, that's a hickey. I'm literally just gonna tan the part of my legs <laughs> that are gonna show in thigh highs. I don't deserve a single subscriber. I don't even deserve to put like beauty in the tags of this video. But I do this frequently actually, especially, that's what's funny is like if I'm in a rush to go somewhere, I'll wear thigh highs just so I know that I can do this faster. People will see me and think I look so put together and like I'm wearing thigh highs and like, oh, I'm a girl. But like in reality, I'm wearing thigh highs because this is like the fastest thing to do. And I'm not gonna lie to you, if you don't wash this off when you get home or tan your legs, like it is so disgusting the way it looks because literally your thigh will be like I went to Hawaii and your legs are like I stayed in the house for three months and it's just it's it's interesting for sure all right so now my thighs are tan my arms are tan my face is tan my neck and chest are tan my back isn't tan but I mean like how often is my like upper back on Instagram so and we're gonna change the way that this looks <laughs> ow Hello, and welcome to Tana's Ho Corner. Okay, so I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Step one is literally popping every single blackhead on my face and then tweezing my eyebrows just because I cannot. This is why I shouldn't be a beauty guru because most beauty gurus would just like never say this or do this, but uh, I'm, I'm not claiming to be one. I feel like, like I said earlier, self-tan already accentuates acne and blackheads, and if they're on my face, I'd rather just get them out, and I don't wanna put makeup on top of that either. I'm super anal about that. It's, it's all a part of the transformation. Then I'm gonna pull my hair back with this cute plaid scrunchie because I'm trying to, um, you know, stay trendy with the times. And like I got a cup of coffee because it's like four in the morning but I like need to finish this video so like, fuck you Jordan. I just throw my hair in a little half up, half down pony. I'm thinking like prom. First things first, I wet a beauty sponge. And then on top of wetting it, I'm spraying it with Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Um, I saw Kim Kardashian spray her beauty blender with this so now I'm spraying my beauty blender with this. Then some eye cream because again, I'm aging 10 times more rapidly than any other fucking 20 year old on the planet. I think it noticeably helps me look less like I'm running on one hour of fucking sleep at all times. Then I'm gonna use Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Mattifying Primer just to create an even more poreless base. This also smells like peach so much to the point that literally Bella would always be like smelling or licking my face. <laughs> What a weird sentence and she would literally be like, oh my god, you taste like peaches like it's awesome Then I'm gonna take the Too Faced lip injections lip gloss and put it on right now This stuff is insane when it comes to plumping it literally can double your lip size and it's also kind of painful But if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love slight pain. So <laughs> God, I'm so weird. I literally should not be YouTube channel. It's kind of like burns a little bit But it's like tingly and it's like so good if I'm ever wearing like a nude lip or a glossy lip I'll put it on after so that all day it can be plumping like that but today I'm doing like a red lip because like holiday it's so funny having like a boyfriend that I'm like constantly with now and if I wear this shit and I kiss him it'll literally like make his lips bigger and like sting <laughs> he fucking hates it but you know gotta do what you gotta do to be an Instagram slut I just recently changed the order of the way that I do my makeup for the first time in my entire life Ooh, this is like starting to hurt I'm living 
<laughs> so basically I've always always done like primer foundation concealer powder bronzer contour brows but I've been starting with my brows because I just recently discovered how much I love to slightly carve them ever since I did start doing that I've been getting so many more comments about like my makeup looking really good so I think I'm doing something right maybe who knows and I just kind of spray my brows and like dampen them because I think that it makes the brush strokes look more lifelike and I think it makes products glide on faster and easier. It might not do any of that. I really don't know shit. So um, I also feel like 19 of my tracks are showing right now. So that's always like fun and fresh. And then I'm just going to take Urban Decay Faint. Just kind of loosely follow the shape of my brows, but try to make them bigger, darker, and a little more symmetrical. But mine are also definitely, definitely shish stars, not twins. As you guys can see, my lips are already starting to like which I low-key live for. We love like some fresh DSLs. Um, yeah, something's wrong with me. Like who wants their lips to <laughs> look like that? I haven't gotten lip filler in like almost a year now, which is actually really wild. I've been kind of letting it like dissolve for like a hot second there. They were like a little too big, so. Okay, so I filled in my eyebrows and I look absolutely terrifying right now. <laughs> but um, the next step for me, So the next step for me is carving out my brows. So then I'm gonna grab another angled brush and go in with a concealer or foundation and just kind of sharply, probably not a word, cover up all parts of my skin that I don't want to show. And just kind of try to make them as symmetrical as possible. I just gotta really bring me all of these. Marc Jacobs, please at least just put me on your fucking PR list to star. I promo this foundation more than anything. I'm shade 34 beige medium. I just kind of like to pull it up, obviously, because I can't raise my eyebrows because of the Botox. I'm talking like I know anything. <laughs> okay, so I, again, look absolutely fucking terrifying. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. I'm just relaying a giant fuck you to Jordan. It is now 5.24 in the morning. Now I'm just gonna go in on putting this foundation all over my face. I don't know if you relate to me, but I am fugly. So I'm just gonna do my best to cover that up. I've really been working on myself as a person and one of the traits is not dragging my beauty blender. So I'll be back and one step closer to looking less like a hobbit. Mm -hmm. I also went ahead and really made sure to like with my fingers work it into my hairline and drag it down my neck and eventually I will drag it down my chest because I basically just want to make any sign of me being a fucking catfish completely undetectable. I'm going to take Tarte Shape Tape and place it underneath my eyes in a giant triangular shape. I definitely use way too much of this, you know, just trying to cover up the ugly. I feel like this is a really easy way to contour too, just by like instantly having this whole section of your face be lighter. Then I put it right here just because my lip filler is way too big and I don't want there to be any weird shadows and I don't want people to think I have a fucking mustache because of those weird shadows. I'm just gonna cover up like Mount Everest, Magic Mountain, the Himalayans over here. Literally the sound of this hitting my face sounds like something hitting plastic. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna set my face. Good old Laura Mercier setting powder. I don't know if Kat Von D is canceled. Um, merch link in bio. I still use the Kat Von D shade in my palette to contour. I'm just gonna use the middle bottom shade and basically carve out where I wish my cheekbones were. Try to make my forehead smaller without face tune refine and then just give myself some quick jawline lipo. I'm just gonna take any fluffy brush pretty much. Ever so slightly contour my nose. I'm not good at this. I'm not claiming to be good at this. A little at the bottom just doing what my nose job didn't. I'm just blending, you know, I'm a beauty girl. That's like what you're supposed to do, right? <coughs> okay, so it's a little harsh right now, but I'm not even gonna blend that out. I'm just gonna start applying a shimmery bronzer kind of all over the face, focusing on the opposite parts of where I put the contour, like if anything, where the light would hit versus not hit. And my favorite bronzer in the world for this, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is probably one of my favorite products of 2018. I'm also debating doing a favorite products of 2018 video just for making myself look overall tanner. And I think applying this on my cheekbones kind of blends out the contour like all in one step. It smells just like hot cocoa, like chocolate literally. So for all you people that like say that I look like I smell bad, I literally smell like fucking peaches and chocolate, so. 
I have so many nice Morphe brushes and I insist on using this weird shitty Sony Kashuk for Target like circa 2015 brush. Now ever so slightly I'm gonna take the middle light shade and then just put a little bit in the inner under eye area. I cannot believe I just couldn't think of the word under eye for that fucking long. If I could fuck this, I would. Like, I'm like, <laughs> bitch. It's like $10 when every other setting spray is like 30. The mist is insane. Like, I don't understand how someone's like, with their like weird, misty, shitty bottle and then they're just done. Like, okay, so you set your nose. This to me smells like the inside of a Vegas casino, like in a good way. Not like cigarettes and hookers, but like the like perfume that they, I don't know how to explain it. If they ever discontinued that, I would feel like my child was being like ripped out of my arms. It's time for eyeshadow. I don't really know what I wanna do. I know I wanna do a red lip and I know I'm lazy. So a part of me wants to incorporate a little bit of red into my eye. I'm really trying to unleash my inner artish. But before I get into playing around with James's palette, my favorite palette on this planet is Jaclyn Hills. It is so fucking incredible. If you travel anywhere, it is the only fucking palette that you fucking need. The transition shades in this palette, there's like literally like a whole fucking row of them and they're incredible. So I'm gonna take this shade. It's so funny how beauty gurus are like, this brown shade and a little bit of this orangey shade and just blend that through my crease. I'm always gonna pull my eyelid tight when I do that. I know that it's giving me wrinkles. I'll get Botox. I don't give a fuck. Save your comments for someone else. I legit think these are the perfect transition shades. And then now I'm just gonna keep dipping into that brown shade and kind of drag it onto my outer corner. I was originally gonna use tape for this look, which I love to do, but I'm lazy. <laughs> Then I'm just gonna take a little fluffy brush and apply that same brown shade to my lower lash line. This is also pivotal for me. There's just something about it that makes my cock throb, so. Now, I don't think I've talked about this on camera, and I'm like nervous to talk to you about this. Like, it's it just, it means so much to me. This next eyeshadow in this palette changed my life. Just brought out a side of me that I just didn't even know existed. I wish she sold it in individual pans. I would literally crush it up and fucking snort it. If I could use one, one eyeshadow in the world is the second shimmery white shade in this palette. So I'm just gonna take a flat brush and heavily pack it into my inner corner. I feel like the second I started doing this was when I started getting comments about my makeup being good. I feel like it makes people compliment your eyeshadow, even though my eyeshadow is literally a piece of fucking shit. Bitch, I look crazy right now, but just bear with me. Even if I literally have time to do no eyeshadow, I will do a light dusting of this. I just fucking love it, okay? Then I just take it again and put it along my nose and I also feel like this like tiny little line of shine is what makes my nose contour like look okay and put a little bit of it on my cheekbone I'm not a big highlight gal I just feel like I look like a fucking sparkly dumb bitch who doesn't know how to do her makeup but a little bit so that my you know cheek filler hits the fucking light <laughs> can you just tell I'm so over filming this like I'm gonna take a pencil brush James's palette some fucking you're kidding shishtar I'm just gonna kind of place this on my lower lash line I love of a good pop of color on the lower lash line because I'm not that good at makeup at all. And I think a pop of color on the lower lash line really elevates your eyeshadow or a pop of color in the inner corner even. And it looks like you tried, but it also takes literally nine seconds. Very festive. Now I'm gonna move on to using another one of my favorite beauty products that I've discovered in 2018, 3D Fiber Lashes Mascara. It comes in a cute little carrying case like this. I actually, again, just got a bunch of these as Christmas gifts. Basically, it's these two mascaras. First, you're gonna put on the regular black one. And the reason why I fuck with this mascara, my eyelashes are chodes. They are so fucking short and shitty, and if my lashes were ever to come off by accident, I would like this look to be as wearable as possible, so I try to make my lashes look as good as I can, just so they blend in with the lashes as best as possible. This mascara is super fucking long-lasting and lengthening and volumizing. Like, if someone compliments my eyelashes, they are normally lying. <laughs> like, now you're gonna take the second product, which is literally these, like, 3D fibers, wait. It's literally just this brush with these crazy fibers on it. So yeah, I'm gonna link this below along with everything else. It's literally only $15. I don't know if you can see that, 
but my lashes show up above my liner band ever so slightly obviously but for someone with literal fucking chode ass eyelashes that is so exciting to me fuck now I'm gonna throw on some Lily Lashes Miami this is the ultimate part of this transformation I could do every single thing in this video but if I did not put on these eyelashes I would still look like fucking shit I've been using these eyelashes for over a year now which has never happened to me in my entire life there just is no better one these are the best lashes on this planet are super dramatic and super pretty but they also look kind of real I'm literally reusing a pair right now that I've already worn five times if I could have one product in the world it would be these with lash glue after a year of promoting their product every second of every day they finally gave me a code thank you Lily lashes it just like it asked the point of it just like demonetized it just means so much to me you can use code Tana to save money on these lashes duo gray to black glue because any other lash glue on this planet literally gives me chlamydia I'll be back and significantly more attractive I'm just like instantly a whole new bitch spending $30 on these lashes is like spending $30 on like getting dick it's crazy but as they dry I'm gonna focus on pushing the outer corners like up to kind of give it like a cat eye but also more realistic effect god I'm talking like I know anything it's literally 6 30 now <laughs> so now I'm gonna line my lips I swear to god I could have 14 cc's of Juvederm in my lips and I would still line them it gives a level of definition and complete makeup I would even like fill in up here to make my upper lip look bigger normally I would be a little more meticulous today Today I am doing a red lip, so I'm really just using this to outline my lips so that the lipstick doesn't bleed. This is Urban Decay Lip Liner in the shade Broken, like me. <laughs> So now I'm gonna use Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored, also like me. Yes, uncensored and broken, <laughs> but this lip paint is so... Oh my god, it's gonna like stain my veneer a little bit. It is so thin. This is really the only liquid lipstick that dries matte that I feel like isn't like sticky or thick. Like it's actually just fucking perfect. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm totally not perfect at applying lip products. So if you notice little flaws, like this one, fuck. Okay, and just when you thought this nine crippling years of hell of me turning myself into more and more of a catfish was over, now it's time to go do our hair. If this wasn't like a holiday transformation video, I would probably just leave my hair straight. But I'm trying to like transform and I feel like curls just like say holiday. I legit started this video at 3 a.m. I'm nowhere near done and the sun is fucking rising. Literally eat shit, Jordan. Hello. <laughs> We're in my bathroom, the lighting might change because you know the fucking sun is rising. But I look significantly better than I did last time we were here, so that's good. Next step for me, even when curling my hair, is absolutely pivotal. And that is taking a flat iron to these pieces and all of these pieces. I don't care how good my hair looks, if there's weird little crinkly waves, it doesn't look good to me, no matter what. And I'm gonna use the flat iron for another little trick that I wanna teach you guys and talk about later. So I'm gonna be using the Duval Impulse Far Infrared Flat Iron for this. They just sent me a new one because I gave my last one to my mom. Another incredible fucking gift idea. I swear to God, Duval is just a website of like good gift ideas. I am so fucking tired that I was just standing here clicking the sweater on and off like wondering why it wouldn't turn on when it wasn't plugged in <laughs> While it's heating up, this is literally my everyday go-to flat iron. I love it so much. And you guys can get this flat iron right now with my code for $55.50. I will link it along with everything else in the description. No pressure. I really fuck with it. If you're going to get mad at me for doing an ad on something that I really fuck with, you can suck a dick. Like that. Like that little like curve right there. If I'm ever leaving the house in a rush too, I will always turn on a flat iron and just do this because I cannot. Oh, like that. Definitely some foundation in my hairline, but did you expect anything less? I literally have to do that before even brushing my hair because I like can't look at it. Damn, I need to dye my roots right there. <laughs> I honestly adore like Revlon, Conair, Remington, like all of those cheap brands, just regular curling irons for curling my hair. And this curling iron is probably like one, I just literally burned my tit. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna start grabbing pieces about this size, opening the clamp, loosely wrapping them, but then leaving almost like 
a half inch of space out of the flat iron, if that makes sense. But still leaving almost like a half inch of space out of the curling iron. I think this is the easiest way to achieve that like Instagram curl where the ends are kind of straight and it's kind of beachy. It's also way less damaging to your ends until I fucking burn them later, but. <laughs> and then after I curl it, I just kind of hold it straight to loosen the curl. But I alternate by going over and under. So that last piece, I was going over the curling iron like this. And now this piece, I'm gonna be curling under so that all of my curls are going in different directions. I feel like when you curl all in the same direction, you get that like sweet 16 quinceanera, like all the same curl, like I had this in seventh grade curl. I feel like you can grab bigger chunks and do this really quickly, or you can kind of take your time for a more precise look. And I just think the messier and different each piece is, the better. Like that's way too princessy. So again, I'm just gonna like hold it as it cools off. Not even hold, like yank. <laughs> <laughs> and just like accidentally turn off the curling iron like a few times that like makes everything like way more convenient <laughs> To speed up this process you could also use bigger chunks of hair or use a bigger curling iron Fucking hire someone to do your hair. I don't know. Can you guys tell that I want to dye more now that the Sun is literally rising like it is 7 a.m. <laughs> Okay, so I just curled the entire bottom section of my hair the way I just explained to you. I saved you from watching that because I am painstakingly miserable and the sun is entirely out now. Now I'm gonna curl the top layer. I just kind of make it less curly just because my top layers are shorter. So if I make them too curly, they're like really short and weird. And then I do the majority of these curls away from my face. Fuck. <laughs> So now all of my hair is curled, but it's still a little too curly for my liking. Because I've been doing this for nine years, the flat iron's heating back up because it like turned itself off because it like thought I left the house. But like, no, I'm just like still fucking here doing this. Awesome. While that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and start applying some products to my hair. The first one that I absolutely swear by is Dry Bar Triple Sec. <sighs> Oh, bitch, changed my life. Your hair can be like three weeks dirty <laughs> and triple set will just like revolutionize it. There's nothing on this planet like this product. A three-in-one texturizing amplifying, not that I know what that means, but I am on a tour called the Amplifier right now, so like link in bio. So it does the job of dry shampoo, but it gives you this texture and this volume and this beachiness. I just fucking blow dried my hair, even though I didn't look. I focus on spraying it toward the middle of my hair while like pulling it out like this. And you can already kind of tell the difference in the two sides. This is more like structured, separated curls and like world's more voluminous. Are you kidding me? Like that's, that's like not real. Okay, so now the trick I'm about to show you to me revolutionized doing my hair at home for me. And this entire method of curling, I actually haven't said this, but especially this was taught to me by my beloved hairdresser, Jake B. Martin. I literally refer to these curls as Jake B. Martin curls. I could not curl my hair at home at all. I would have to go to a hairstylist every single time before him. And he just recently passed away very randomly. He was super healthy. I literally had a hair appointment with him like days after he passed away. I spent so many hours with him just talking about life. Instantly the first time he did my hair, we had this like insane connection and he was just an incredible person and such a talented celebrity hairstylist in LA. When he passed away, the amount of people that lives were impacted by that, I guess, including mine, was crazy. But I feel like if I'm ever gonna mention him, thank him for everything he did, it would be doing his fucking curls. Not a day goes by that I curl my hair that I don't think of him. I just got goosebumps. Yeah, he taught me a lot about life, but hair as well. So thank you, Jake, for teaching me and now millions of people how to kick ass at some curls at home. I fucking miss you. <laughs> so what he taught me was, if you don't like your curls, to go in at the top of them and really hit them with a flat iron, but then to also go in at the edges of them with a flat iron. And if any hairs are just like too curly at the end, like, so like for my liking, this one is just a little bit too curly. So I'm gonna go in and just like flat iron it. Really, this trick also really saves my ass when I'm getting my hair done on set or somewhere and someone does give me like princess curls. I'll wait till they like fucking leave the room and then turn on a flat iron and flat iron every single hair the way I just showed you. And that'll make any bad curls look be 
cookie cheese. That's the way the cookie crumbles, sister. Some fucking awesome Jake B. Martin curls. And if this doesn't say fucking holiday hair, I will now have wavy hair for the next like three to four days. <laughs> Guys, it is finally like nine fucking years later. Time to get dressed. I'm so excited. Oh, she's bitchy. So I put clothes on. I'm using natural lighting because it's nine in the fucking morning now. Before I explain my outfit, you can't even see my face, but honestly, like, this is what I'm worth anyways. All of my videos could be like this. Uh, before I talk about my outfit, my final touches to pretty much anything are putting bronzer on my chest, loosely contouring my tits. I feel like people in my Instagram comments are constantly accusing me of contouring the fuck out of my tits, but in reality, I just details and grain my photos a little too much, so get your fucking facts straight. I wouldn't say I contour, I would just say I make my chest match my face and I kind of add a little shadow, but I guess you could call that contouring, so I'll fuck off. Then I cover my entire body, including my asshole, with Gucci Bloom. Everyone ever, contrary to popular belief, tells me I smell great when I'm wearing this. Dove deodorant dry spray, because I'm literally too lazy to even apply deodorant to my arms. It's also fun, like that was fun. Like. And then hoop earrings. I feel like no outfit for me is complete without a pair of earrings. And one day I was at a party and some girl that Dirty Dom was fucking was talking to me. And she was like, I just love hoop earrings. I feel like they make your face look skinnier. And they like frame your face. And I was like, Damn, bitch, you just spoke some like Einstein facts. Like you're already too smart to be fucking dirty dumb. And then for jewelry, I'm just wearing everything Cartier that I own. I feel like for a holiday look like this, if I was covered in like chains, it would like take away from the classy aspect of it, if that makes sense. For my dress, this is from, <sighs> My dress is from Laura's Boutique. I'm literally out of breath, I can't breathe. <laughs> I kid you not, it's like under $30. And when you use code TANA, it's like really under $30. I have these dresses in every single color. This one is low key a size too big, so I pinned it. But when they are the right size, these dresses changed my outlook on life. Like I feel like they like cinch your waist, they make your hips look bigger, they have pockets. They're a super thick, double lined, silky, comfortable material. But normally when it's in my size, it is the best best fitting dress I own. The black one I wear literally constantly. It's 9 a.m. I get so many compliments on this dress, again, every single time I wear it, of people thinking that it's from like Neiman Marcus. And I feel like it's just, it's bitchy. It's presidential. It's one of those dresses that says like, I'm classy, but I'll also fucking cut you. And I feel like just having these in like every color or any color, like it's something that you can just never go wrong with because it's a little bit formal, but it's like also still like trendy and fun. You don't even have to use Gautin. I don't even want to sound like I'm selling out for this dress like that's how good it is like literally just experience it and then i have on and i just feel like this says like merry fucking christmas bitch happy fucking holidays ho 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 and if it's cold where you are i would probably just throw a red little puffer jacket over it i'm not gonna lie to you guys though like a hoe never gets cold like it's cold outside and i'm still dressing like a potty and then again because i'm a psychopath and everything i wear has to be like slightly grunge or emo or else i feel way too much like a girl and just want to go home i probably wear this cute little teddy bear backpack from Dolls Kill. Bear, because I'm a little emo girl. Hmm, like, you know, in a bag. Yeah, okay. I forgot to mention that I also threw like a little red lace House of CB bralette under this just in case it did show. So it was like something cute. Just because this dress is kind of nip slippy for me. So yeah, that is my holiday transformation. Shout out to Duval for working with me on this video. And I hope you enjoyed this transformation video. Like I said, I just wanted to try out this new style of video because every fucking YouTube hoe ever is doing it. And like, I want those views too. Yeah, I saw <clears throat> It's 9 a.m. <laughs> so miserable. But every single item I use will be linked in the description below. Use code TANA for some of them. And if I don't talk to you guys before then, Merry Christmas. The best Christmas gift in the world to me every year for the past three years has been you guys and I wouldn't get to do anything in my entire life if it wasn't for the people supporting me and loving me and simply watching and clicking on my videos and watching me turn myself from a two to a fucking seven. So thank you guys for being with me for almost a fourth Christmas in a row. She said in her fucking living room at 9 a.m. in red fucking thigh highs and misery <laughs> I'm gonna go wipe all of this off and fucking kill myself. I hope you enjoyed this because if you didn't, I literally did it for fucking nothing. Fuck you, Jordan Morona, and uh, happy holidays. The hell never gets cold. <laughs>
Yo, but that transformation is real though. Like I was literally like a fugly unfuckable too, like six hours ago. <laughs> so that's good impression fun. I feel like Amber Scholl, wait. <laughs> Fucking kill me. 